happen. Hello everyone, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I am Daniel Goodwill, and over there is John Lewandowski. Uh, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. We only got one game for you today. The Nashville Predators took on the Florida Panthers. Yes, we are back actually covering single games. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, we have, uh, no matter how tired the hosts are. <laughs> but I think tomorrow's game we're doing a graphic on, and that's for Atlanta. Yes, that is correct. But anyways, we're here to talk about tonight's game, and that is the Nashville Predators and the Florida Panthers. So shots on, let's get into it. Shots on goal in the first period, Florida outshoots Nashville 14 to 4. In the second period, Florida outshoots Nashville 14 to 12. In the third period, Nashville outshoots Florida 11 to 10. And in total, Florida outshoots Nashville 38 to 27. Nashville was better on the faceoff percentage at 54.2 to Florida's 45.8. Florida goes one for four on the power play of 15 penalty minutes, while Nashville goes over five with 13 penalty minutes. Florida out hit Nashville 28-26. Both teams had 18 block shots. Nashville had 22 giveaways to Florida six. And Florida had 22 takeaways to Nashville's 20. Scoring in the first period was nothing. Scoring in the second period for Florida on the power play was Reinhardt scoring his 34th of the year, assisted by Bennett, his ninth. That was at the 11-18 mark. Um, then at the 12-16 mark, Nashville scores with a goal from Lausanne, his fifth of the year, assisted by Sissons, his 12th, and that was it for the second period. In the third period, Carter Verdhagen scores his 24th with an assist from Sam Bennett, his 10th. Um, I did want to make mention that the Preds giveaways, they made up for it back by taking the puck back. Yeah. Uh, so I thought I'd add that in as well. Um, all but two times did they get takeaways. So a uh, very sloppy game on this side for the Preds, but what would you expect? Uh, Florida's a very defensively stout team, and we're very young. Um, right. One scoring was Brendan Montour on an empty net with an assist from Matthew Kachuk, his 32nd, and Bennett is 11th. Then Kachuk gets the empty net with an assist from Vern Hagen. Bert Hagen's 22nd assist, Kachuk's 13th goal of the year. The Preds and Panthers will meet up in Florida on March 21st. Um, to end that for the Panthers was and. I hope I see this right. Yep, Anthony Stolares. Yeah. Um, he stopped twenty six to twenty seven with a ninety six point three save percentage. In net for the Preds was UC Saro. Saro stopped thirty four of thirty six with a ninety four point four save percentage. All right. As the empty net goals are not his fault. All righty. Your referees were Dan O'Rourke and Mitch Dunning. Lights people or persons is Justin Berg or De Devin Berg and Justin Johnson. Sorry. Head coach for Florida is Paul Maurice. Right coach for Nashville is Andrew Burnett. Scratchers for the Panthers was Alexander Barkov, Gustav Forsling, and William Lockwood. Scratchers for Nashville are Tyson Berry, Cody Glass, and Yusuf Parsonen. Um, 
Parsonen's another one of those where I wouldn't be surprised to see him flip back down here. Yeah. Just to get his game back. Right. Uh, Glass, I see him on the move. Barry, I see him on the move. Um, there's a lot to unpack soon. Um, we have to decide whether or not we want to be contenders or whether or not we want to stack our prospect pool a little bit. All right. So Nashville really needs to make that decision. Mm. Oh. Oh, Okay. Must be a slow day in news. Mm. Yeah. Top article is uh, Russia and Ukraine finally agree on something that Trump could not bring end to conflict. Ha <laughs> Well, at least they start. It's a start. They agree on something, and it's Trump's fault. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. But there's that. <laughs> Must be a slow day in news. Nashville Predators to trade UC Soros. Must be a slow day in news. Mm -hmm. Hockey player uh, deal with more mentality than or mentally than other athletes. Must be a slow day in news. <laughs> like, I'm literally looking for news, and it's nothing. I'm going everywhere. I would also uh, congratulations to Ka uh, to Marco Casper of the Grand Rapids Griffins Player of the Week for the AHL. Uh, even though, uh, believe it or not, the Central Division has won a AHL Player of the Week the last four weeks. Oh, wow. Also, Texas lost to Iowa today. Okay. Losing their sixth straight. Um, that puts us in a position if we can yank two points out. One more game. Ten point lead in the division. I I will gladly take that at this point. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Um you know, do you think that over under that Hodson plays anytime soon? But who? Cody Hodgson. Um, I don't know. I mean, he hasn't played in years. Right. So yeah, I I I I I find it funny. Like I said, slow day of news. What do we got? All right. It's a slow day of news. It's a slow day of news when you click on a news tab and the first thing you see is first first time in long time Russia and Ukraine agree on something. 
It's a slow day in news. It, it, it's just a slow day in news. Um, Never Mutter has not had the greatest time defensively in Atlanta. He is um, um, minus seven down there. Um, thought I'd add that to the list of things. Um, did you know that Liam Foody is uh mostly blind in his left eye? No. Yeah. Look at me. I'm coming up with boring news. Like mm -hmm. no one cares. But that's actually quite impressive. Yeah. Um. But no, uh, I think Cody Hodgson could be the comeback story of the year if if he does get going. Um, there's only two games on the slate tomorrow uh, for the AHL: Chicago and Manitoba, and Abbotsford and San Diego. Uh, the NHL. Atlanta plays the Solar Bears tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, tomorrow in the NHL, you have the Stars of the Red Wings, the Senators of the Canadians, Vegas versus the Islanders, the Capitals in the Wild, uh, the Blue Jackets and Oilers, the Ducks and Sabres. That game's on Hulu. Um, Rangers and Sharks. Rangers should easily take that. Blues and Flames, Lightning and Flyers, and then Wednesday, wait, really? The Preds don't play till Thursday? No. Oh, and I can't watch it because it'll be blacked out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't either. No, okay. Well, then again, if you have Amazon Prime as a, or Amazon, yeah, Amazon Prime or Amazon TV, uh, Bally's will be streaming on there next year. As well as, so for the Brewers and the Preds and all of your local sports, if you're going to want to watch them, other than your uh, local cable provider, um, and Amazon um, has bought a minority stake of Valley. Well, the reason I have to bring that to our attention is because for us, when the Wild are on the secondary channel and the Badgers are playing, guess who's on the secondary channel? Uh -huh. The Badgers. I remember to one time the Bucks were on the secondary channel for a fishing show. Mm -hmm. That was a long time ago. But that is all. It is it is a very slow day. The Devils have won six straight. Uh, apparently, with this win over the Preds, the Panthers have ended a four-game losing streak. Yeah, they did. Um, we need to hide Cotter McDavid's mom because Corey Perry signed with the Edmonton Oilers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is official. I joke, I joke, but uh, Corey Perry says he's changed upon signing with. Um... Wow. That is tough. Um, Bedard got hurt while practicing with his jaw. Um, he will miss another six weeks. Oh, geez. Uh, this was written at 6.52 today.
Oh, he had surgery, so that's why. Yeah. He had to have surgery on his fractured jaw. Um, but like I said, slow night, one single game, trying to give you guys content, and there's nothing. I am definitely not doing. I should have just did it in the system. Ha ha. Mm. But that's coming uh sometime this weekend. Cause, and I say sometime this weekend because I don't know when, but I do know I gotta get it done this weekend. So, with that being said, um, come on out Wednesday for the Admirals game. Uh, first, I think they said, uh, what they say, 1,000? Uh, it's a good time to reread their stuff, huh? First 2,500 fans get a barn pickleball shirt. Um, it's also a winning weekday, so if they win, you get a free ticket to next Tuesday's game against San... Oh, wait. Is that the wild? I can't see that far. Mm -hmm. I can't help. I don't have my phone. San Diego. We're good. It's San Diego. Oh. Oh. Uh, yes, Atlanta plays tomorrow. Uh. Yeah, if I looked right, they're two six and two in their last ten. Yeah, Atlanta hasn't had a whole lot of fun. No, it's been rough down there. Yeah, um, I'm actually looking up their standings right now. They're last in the conference. That I know. Are they yeah, been two, twenty-eight six, points? Two. I want to say. What'd you say? I said I I think they have twenty eight points on the season. That is correct. Um they their last they're currently riding at O two and one streak. Um and they're playing Orlando. Yeah, Orlando tomorrow. Orlando and their last ten is six two two or six two and two. Uh, they are one and two, it, uh, all one and two in their last, uh, or in their current streak. Adirondack Thunder have on 11 straight. Oh, wow. Yep. But I do think it comes time that Atlanta wake up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, I am interested to see what happens in the coming years. And... What happens going forward? Because it ought to be interesting. I'm interested to see what happens in the offseason with all the affiliations, because Nice. Ours is up next year. So, uh, all righty. Um, oh.
Um, March 3rd, kids get a free Admirals practice jersey. First 1,000 fans. Under 14. March 3rd. March 9th, come on out. Yarrow Bench Press. First 2,500 fans will take home an Admiral's figurine of the goalie bench press, which is also STEM night. God. Not a school day game. Uh -huh. Not a school day game. Oh, dog day. Um, there is something the Admirals and Brewers were doing. I think it's April 10th. We got about four minutes left. Okay. Yeah, I know they're doing something, too. I just don't remember what day. Oh! It's a Brewers theme night. Reverse slap back to the hockey. So the Brewers on April 26th will give away Brewer ticket, Admirals ticket, which would mean the season's over. So it'd be for the next year, I would imagine. Yeah. And a self really like Hockey jersey. Um, that's something I might show interest in. Obviously. Alright. Um, I'm gonna definitely check it out. That comes from the Brewers. As we all know, the Brewers and Admirals have been supporting each other since our uh, ownership change. Uh, well, not necessarily. I mean. You had the commercials in the 90s where you had Bob Euchre doing hockey skate commercials. Yeah. <laughs> or hockey commercials for the Admirals with the pennants. Right. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, the I, I mean, I remember the years that Lloyd owned the team after Jade had passed. Mm hmm and and it was just bad. There were no there were no uh, no like there was nothing on the boards. There were no sponsorships. There were nothing. Um, that's why a lot of people love Jane. <laughs> I realized that uh, yeah, but yep, yeah, that's that's the interesting for today. The uh, the news is that well. It is a very boring day today. <laughs> um, but Preds fans know that you hug it there. Um, this young team is going to take its beating. Yeah, it ought to be interesting to see where this goes down the line. Uh, I'm mean, very interested to see what the next couple of years of trots bring because what what year is it? It is it, it, it. This is still very much Poyle's system and set up and. Well, there are very much a few guys. There's a lot of guys still here. I, I, I don't think that they've fully put in that system yet. So, all right. Uh, we will see where it goes uh, from here. Obviously, a lot of things to look forward to. March 8th, circle that date. Uh, that is the trade deadline. As me and John know, that day could either be very boring mm -hmm. or very hectic. Which me and him got to gauge a feel on that because we got to know where we're going to be and what, how we're going to pull it off. <laughs> so, all righty. And we will see you all um, on Wednesday. Wednesday. The Admirals and Bellevue Senators. See you then.